Do you ever feel like ambivalent, happy but empty, blessed but cursed, contented but not really, holding on or letting go? Is it really that hard? Chuckling jobs. For this week's letter, I'll be sharing the things I do to break my negative thoughts. As part of my 2023 journey, number three on my list is joining group meditation, and number four is joining community volunteer. And for the past few days, my schedule was busy and productive. I just joined the group meditation at Chuan Temple, and my main goal here is to understand deeper my inner self and thoughts, getting more focus so I can control my thoughts and emotions. My first session was good experience. First was orientation, then walking meditation, to group meditation, and. The last part was T session or what they call Q、uh, Q and A session. I learn a lot, and I am looking forward to the next session. Buddhist and attachment of the world and what is representation is going to be. Okay, you are the captain of your own ship, and you are the master of your own life. With this activity, I met new friends, leading me to an organization called Cats and Dogs Matters. One of the volunteers is my new friend of mine. She introduces me to Cats and Dogs Matter as I shared to her that I wanted to volunteer in any kind of community activity as part of my 2023 journey. Good thing there is an upcoming event, and I am glad that the head of the organization let me in. They are warm and friendly, and giving me tasks and letting me explore and experience the process. I already love the idea, like giving my time and energy to help the community, while I was able to explore new things, new friends, and loving what I do. Because I see a lot of cute dogs and cats, and meeting and greeting them is so precious to me. Why am I doing this again? Well. Break my negative thoughts. Memories, especially the bad and the happy ones, are the hardest to forget because it triggers our emotions. Sometimes, well, most of the times, 
I tend to be slaves to my emotions. Well, we are worried with it because it gives us chemical reactions. And I think that's normal. What is not normal is I let it sink into myself. And that is why I feel tired and lost because my perspective is grayer than what it's supposed to. I'm very guilty of this. And that is why my goal is to control my thoughts and my emotions much better. So I often talk to someone, listen more to someone, meet someone, join community services, different group activities, anything that makes me busy. Wait, don't go away. So where are you going? As I look into where I am right now, I am more blessed more than I deserve. 